Welcome to Electron Line. Here is something that we've seen before but with a slight twist on it. Notice we're dropping a mass, the mass is in kilograms, from a height in centimeters and it, it, uh, it falls down onto a spring, it compresses the spring at distance x in meters and I guess I should use the correct symbol, meters, like this, and the spring constant is in newtons per meter. So the question is, what is the compression, x in meters, understanding that h is much, much greater than x, so we can ignore in the overall height differential that small amount of x. Now we're going to use the equation we normally use, which is the energy conservation equation, will work plus the original potential energy, plus the original kinetic energy equals the potential energy final plus kinetic energy final plus any energy lost. In this case, we're not going to lose any energy. We ignore energy loss in the collision. And so let's see what happens. Zero work put into the system plus the original potential energy would be mgh initial. So let's call this h initial plus zero for kinetic energy. Potential energy will be one half kx squared plus kinetic energy final with all zero plus zero energy lost. It seems simple enough. So let's solve this equation for x. So that means that uh, 2mgh initial divided by k is equal to x squared. So x is equal to the square root of 2mgh sub naught divided by k. But be careful. One thing, h is in centimeters, so what we need to do is convert h into meters. So that would be equal to h sub naught divided by 100 in meters. So essentially, what we need to do here is we need to take that into account. So this would be h sub naught divided by 100 to convert to meters, convert to meters. And so the true answer would then be equal to the square root of mgh sub naught divided by, well, that would be 2 divided by 100, which is 1 divided by 50, okay? And that would be the correct answer in the proper units. So that means, yes, we should have divided this by 100, and we should have divided this by 100 as well. So always be careful about the units. If the units don't match, you need to catch that and make sure your answer has the appropriate units in the end. And that is how it's done.